it's not codified, and, and oftentimes it isn't. That is a real challenge. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, and this is probably the biggest one, is that uh, or, around the promise to deliver, sometimes the requirements of, of the system to give you back the data in a way that is, is interpretable requires that there are changes in practice. In other words, I can't any longer put my note on paper. I can't even dictate it. I can't even put it in structured documentation. I've got to point and click to really codify it. Or we must put in diagnoses and problems in a certain way so that the system can take it and manage that information and interpret it. So requiring changes in clinical practice is mm -hmm. a huge obstacle. That, that That's an assumption for anything like this to work. Mm -hmm. So then I would have questions around, has this ever been installed in the hospital? I'd want to look at the data that, that they've produced out of it. Has it actually changed outcomes? Are the, are the analytics robust enough to catch the factors that feed into a patient deteriorating or declining and, and uh, putting them at risk in the first place? Mm -hmm. Does it take all those into account, or is it just catching a snapshot and saying, well, we do this well? It's not really taking into account the rest, so I'm getting a partial solution, and then I have to keep working to finish the rest. So that's some of my skepticism. Okay, that's good. Uh, more. Does anybody here have a complete electronic medical record? <clears throat> like you just said, I mean, physician notes are typically either paper and scanned in uh, or dictated, and then they come after the fact. Structured documentation um, for yeah. physicians is, is, the, is the toughest. Yeah, I mean, nursing notes, uh, you know, I mean, but that's, that may be what's yeah. required for this to work. You, there's some assumptions on, well, on a product like this. Right, and uh, I, I mean, the, uh, the point is that I think everybody in this room is at various states in their, uh, you know, their adoption. Of, uh, so some will have, uh, you know, data, medications, won't have CPOE, won't have clinical documentation. I mean, I, I'm just making an assumption on the product. I mean, it'll work as well as the data you put into it. And uh, I think my skepticism is, do we even have enough data that's going to actually uh, cause it to accurately predict us uh, so that we would uh, uh, in prospectively change our act, approach to the patient to, to make a... Uh, uh, so quality of data is one concern. Uh, compliance is another concern. Is this also going to add more work or make your life easier? What do you mean by compliance? Oh, well, compliance with getting everyone to, um, to change, change practice. practice. Right, right. And conform their practice. Conform their practice. practice, right. Okay. So, so here's where I struggle in around this, this area. I think that they, clinical purpose, so we can review the clinical purpose and people will say, okay, that is scientifically valid relative to uh, predicting readmission. Okay. So that's all straightforward. We can have a nice academic discussion. Mm -hmm. Affecting change in the organization is a lot harder. So, I, so the things that bring tears to my eyes are to have a good piece of software that we are incapable of implementing because we don't have the, either the will or the, the process in, in order to do it. So I, so I separate those two pieces. 